welcome back to the episode of last day on earth and ho 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 merry christmas baby open out there have an absolutely fan freaking fantastic christmas those who celebrate otherwise happy holidays to everyone who's celebrating some other holidays but today we have a christmas special for y'all not only are we gonna be popping open santa sack which sounds way too weird but also inside of our inbox none of the zele christmas gift awaits us so without further ado let's get to popping it open and we got underwear Woo! Since I knew what I wanted, baby! And also, you know, the most powerful gun inside of the whole game, not counting our piercing weapons. He knew exactly what I wanted, but all right, all memes aside, we love to see some free underwear coming our way that, you know what, we're about to go and toss on. We got a little bit of the roasted turkey for a nice little Christmas feast, some doggy food so our pups can feast too. We'll make sure the Lexi comes out to play. And then not to mention the reanimator to bring us back to life after we suffer a food coma from all the food we are going to be eating. And of course, the scar to have a little bit to fun with so uh let's bring these out to play shall we and all right lexi should be all nice and fed so without further ado let's toss on some of this christmas family jewels underwear lol love the name of that for underwear toss that on see how it's looking honestly matching our christmas outfit perfectly hopefully we'll be able to get a new christmas backpack today too if all does go according to plan because i'm not gonna lie our christmas luck has been incredible so far because in case you guys missed it literally in the last episode we have already got the cream of the crop the very best present that one can Acquire from doing the seasonal missions and all that jazz over here. None other than Grumpy, who I am so excited to have over here, ready to chill at our base. But speaking of things that we got to do for the holidays, uh, what should I call? We also got to pop open Santa sack here, but we also are gonna have some new quests awaiting us over at the bar. So let's hurry up and get to it. And alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, let's get to it. We got six of these packs to open. We are guaranteed to get one of each of these six items at the top, including a brand spanking new backpack that we'll actually go ahead and toss on as well as soon as we are done popping this stuff open with an extremely rare chance of getting our hands on some fully mod or relatively close to being fully modified weaponry and a 100% chance of getting 25 coins. So without further ado, wish us luck. Ho, ho, ho. Please, can I get some merry good Christmas luck over here and some of these extremely rare weapons coming our way? But if not, honestly, the most important thing for me is definitely going to be getting our hands on that brand spanking new backpack. And also the neutralizer is going to come in handy as well because we need plenty of armor piercing weapons to continue continue our shenanigans over in none other than the laboratory hard mode but speaking of shenanigans like i was saying we should be able to actually wrap up let's go baby we got that freaking ak coming our way we should be able to wrap up our weekly case for uh what you call over there at the bar and see the prize that we get at the end of that get plenty of seasonal pass levels and all that jazz and there you go that was the entirety of the opening right over there and we're gonna go and toss that backpack on right now before we pop on over to the bar to continue our quest and there she is is the breezy backpack which also i mean still does fit pretty perfectly with the outfit that we are rocking and of course listen we got new underwear today so today's a no pantalones type of day i formally declare christmas from this day forth to be a day of no pantalones all in favor say aye this, this is the part where everybody comments I in the comments and all that jazz, but also would love to hear from y'all in that comment section down below. Also, as y'all can see, of course, I have, have to go on an adventure here with our boy Rudolph riding shotgun as we do. I mean, listen, Santa Claus was done with him today. He delivered all the presents, so, you know, he let he let him tag along with me to have a relaxed kind of day because uh, Rudolph's excited to see how this detective case mystery for week one is going to end, and hopefully we'll be able to kick off week two. I do believe that there should be some new shenanigans awaiting us at the factory as well in terms of the bosses that we are able to battle and all that jazz so long story short whoa 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 why am i not riding my bike do i have to i gotta fill it up with more gas are you kidding me rudolph where's the gas bro all righty rudolph i literally cannot believe the fact that you forgot to fill this up you had one job all right i guess you didn't have another job technically literally last night with delivering all the presents and stuff but besides that you had one job specific to me it was to fill this freaking thing up so we're ready for some adventure, but that's all right, Rudolph. I can't scold you. You're coming off a long day. He was definitely working OT last night, and hopefully everyone out there who does celebrate is a Christmas. Did get some awesome presents going. Y'all, we would love to hear everybody's a holiday or was whatever holiday it might be that you do celebrate around the holiday season. Right, let's hear what gifts y'all got and all that type of jazz and get in a holly jolly type of spirit, because honestly, I got
got the gift of new underwear here, as you can see. So listen, I'm doing pretty good. And listen, dude, y'all can see that material on that underwear. That's some nice, that's some, that's some nice comfy material. I tell you what, let's pop on over to the last stop bar and see where this quest line will be taking us. We also got to go ahead and tie up some loose ends here with, uh, whatchamacallit, this, uh, delivery that we began. Unfortunately, uh, not really the best rewards that we are going to be claiming because I honestly did not get any points towards this delivery. It just kind of started. So, uh, I will just go. I'll, I'll take a little bit of food. Why not? And there you go. We will be beginning a new present quest line here, which should actually we should be able to once we wrap up this quest line over here at the last stop bar get a ton of points uh, towards this which also is going to be a uh, pretty freaking nifty but open it out there seven absolutely fan freaking testing day of the most basic variety that only keeps, keeps on getting better uh, from here on out whether that be from the video bring you a smile bring you a giggle anything or everything like that does not matter to me how a little bit of joy can go ahead and make its way into your day today i'm just crossing my fingers and indeed, that indeedly do that's exactly what the joy do do and, oh, baby, we got pretty much everything we need to fill this up, except for the Christmas fingers, which I do believe should start appearing in week two of the festivities. So maybe we'll actually be able to pick up some of these Christmas fingers, uh, which we're called throughout our shenanigans today, which would be a pretty a top a tier. We got someone up here at the front. This is an upscale establishment. We don't just let anyone in. I was already in here. I'm solving a mystery, dude. Didn't you get what I said? No wonder with an ugly mug like yours. Dude, I will literally put the sledgehammer through your face. Also, ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Okay, th this is this is how you want to spend your holiday, Mr. Raider. Lucy! Lexi, are you not going to help me out? She's really not going to do anything. Well, all right, baby. Freaking eat sledgehammer. You know what? No. Santa Claus gave me a scar for a reason. Oh, yeah, yeah. You see. Oh, no. You, now you look really sorry. Lexi, get, why is your head inside of his butt? I'm rather concerned. Raider, what do you got to say? I can find something useful during my search. Yeah, get out of bed here. What, what did I get out of him? I actually, I think I got some Christmas lights. I did not see my inventory change besides that, man. I just want to go inside and listen because it does appear like we got a festive event going on in the form of the band that does occasionally play here, if I am not mistaken. Is that what's going on? Yes, sir! Oh, look, these guys are still, like, dancing and thinking on the stage. What were they thinking about? Do we have something interesting going on? Some sort of plot? What were you thinking about? You were just thinking? That's it? We all think sometimes, son. Do you have nothing else to add? Well, that's rather disappointing. Anything else funky or interesting going on around the bar? Because sometimes there are, like, encounters that can occur. At least the last time that the bar was around. So definitely good to explore and see if anyone's got anything interesting to say. Unfortunately, this time around, does not appear to be the case. But that's all right, because we definitely got something interesting to do. And that is going to be coming over here in the form of the billboard. And week one, case one, the trail where we left off. And look at that, ladies and gentlemen. The next clue awaits. Missy told me that the factory employee use a special communication system in the event of accidents. She can use it to contact Nick Santee, but we need to go back to the factory for her to do so. Well, without further ado, I will take the quest and to the factory we go because we are still trying to discover and uncover the mystery of what happened to Nick Santee. What the heck's going on at his factory and all sorts of jazz like that. So a perfect excuse to head on back to the factory. And hey, festive music. Love to hear that. But okie dokie, back to the factory we go. And interesting, the name of this, the kind of like clue quest is known as bug fixes so i wonder if we're gonna be fixing some of the bugs that maybe like made some like the robots and stuff go like haywire at the factory and kind of caused the whole like robotic revolution that appeared to have happened there i don't know Ugh. oh my god i just freaking inhaled my spit that was not any good i hate when that happens all right i chugged some water we're good to go what's inside of the factory i gotta find nisei all right all right well like say are you ready to find Nisei, it appears that the zombies have respawned throughout the location. Yeet! Oh, yeah, well, that man is, uh, well, he respawned and then he despawned because I despawned him. Oh, look at that. Nisei appears to be literally right behind the zombie. Nisei, how did you get behind the zombie? What evil powers do you hold? Here you are. Ready? In and out. It'll take us two minutes. In and out. Quick adventure. What is this, Rick and Morty? I don't think this is going to be a quick adventure. Oh, she is just running out in there. Hold up, hold up. I need Santa Claus's gift. I don't like the way that this might potentially be going, Nisei, and I don't have any pants either. All right, well, I feel like this is some sort of a boss room. It has to be, right? I'm downloading data from the web. If Nick is still alive, we can contact him. Dude, I don't think the web is a thing. I don't think the internet exists in a zombie apocalypse. And if it does, dude, give me some YouTube, man. I'm going to up upload some videos. No power. We need to start the emergency generator. Can you do it? Yeah, I can do it. How do I do it? Where is the generator? So, like, find one of these doors? You, you never really kind of told me where said generator is. You just said, start the emergency generator. And did not clarify where the generator of emergencies is lies in wait. Oh, I need a freaking hatchet to pop this open. All right, well, I mean, I imagine that the generator might, like, be over here on the southern half of things. Hello, Floto Bloat. How you doing, please, baby? Eat some festive pistol drizzle. Woo! 
He's feeling real festive, man. He just freaking exploded and stuff like that. Uh, anything's uh, good going inside of this room. I know last time we visited here, there were like uh, like some clues and stuff that we could read. But like seriously, where is this generator that we are supposed to be turning on? Will like one of these freaking doors that we're not opening before be able to open? Aha! That appears to be exactly the case, because there was definitely not something down this way earlier. But look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Now there is. So ho, 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 please accept this gift of a katana right in your back, sonny Jimbo. Beautiful, beautiful. Now what is going on with this generator? I will fix it. Ah, it is fixed. Oh, the factory's working again. I saved Christmas on Christmas. Hold the applause, please. Please hold the applause, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Presents are going out. Freaking first aid kits, you name it. The holidays are saved. That's right. No, no need to thank me. I accept that. If you, if you want to thank me, you can, you know, make sure to hit the like button. You know, make sure you're subscribed, too, for plenty of more fun last day on Earth action coming you lads and lasses way, especially as we continue exploring this new update and all future new updates that are to come. I'll cover you. What are you covering me? From the sun? Am I going to get, like, sunburned or something? Why, why am I being covered? I am very scared. Cerebrus! With 9,000 health, why does the computer have a name? Hi, computer, how you doing? Should, should I be scared? Prove you're not a robot. I am not a robot. Did it work? Oh, no, no, I need to work on being more convincing. What in tarnation is that thing? Don't do you see the size of that parasite? That thing is massive. Goodness gracious, it's farting, it's exploding, it's doing all sorts of things that a freaking parasite should not do. Okay, hold up, I gotta get out of there and freaking left a huge fart cloud, whatever breakfast burrito that thing had for breakfast. I do not want to know about, don't forget to rate the app. I'm rating you zero stars, son. You deserve no such good rating. Is he gonna open up the other door with more zombies running? Yep, this is exactly what's gonna be going on. Luckily, just a bunch of toxic spinners, which should be a little bit more manageable. Woo! Don't spit on me. I have no pantalones. It's gonna be extra gross. And all right, we got this freaking parasite over here that, uh, woo! I am not gonna get caught inside of. It's gonna fart a little bit. And honestly, shout out to our little lessy friend over here. Woo! Don't hurt me. That, uh, verified. That, that's how I proved it. Here's a signal from Nick. Okay. Uh, it's a distress signal. That's terrible. Someone attacked him while he was delivering presents. No! He was attacked! That's not good. He was the oh, Ladies and gentlemen, we, uh... I mean, luckily we got the big guns out. At least one of, one of the presents was delivered in the form of my scar. We're gonna... We might need this to save the day. Hold up. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Are we going... Are we going to, like, save the day? Are you not gonna stick around or nothing like that? No, we're just heading straight away out of here. All right, understood. I'll meet you back at the bar there, Missy, because that's where the quest is currently leading us towards. Um, anyways... As I was saying, why don't we go ahead and pop out and open this? Because we do get a prize for beating the... Well, oh, let's go! The Christmas fingers have started to appear! Lee, You'll love to see that. Let's go! We are going to be needing, what, like four, five, six of those or something to upgrade our Christmas tree. And the awesome thing is that when we upgrade our Christmas tree, whenever we claim rewards and loot from the presents delivery, we can claim multiple, which is awesome because there are awesome things like the purple card, the C4, and all sorts of freaking incredible things available to us, which I definitely would like it to claim. But all right. While we are here, was this thing still, oh, it's still talking, just verifying us. But that was, I believe, the second boss of the Christmas holiday. We had to fight against, like, some sort of, like, Christmas factory AI computer that just freaking went rampant and stuff like that. And you know what? We won. All right? I, I beat the Matrix, man. It never stood a chance against me. Now, I do have an iron hatchet, luckily, from one of the many presents that Nick Santi left for me after I gave him nine dollar dues. Oh, no, 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 no. What is this? This is a trap. Hello, Lexi, please help me out. Okay, you know what? I tried using my special ability to slow him down. Didn't work. That's all right. Fireworks everywhere. We're good. Let's pop out open this chest over here and see hopefully something good. Waiting inside of here. Big money, no way, big money, no way, big money, no way, me. Boom, shakalaka. We got some lights. We like lights. They are very festive, and I need about 20 of each of those to upgrade said Christmas tree that I was talking about not too long ago. We also still got another boss battle awaiting us here, ladies and gentlemen. We got to go up against freaking Mecha Santa Claus. This is evil Santa Claus. This is Krampus, you know. He's trying to cramp our style and cramp up Christmas. Well, guess what, baby? I'm stretching. There will be no cramps going on today. And we should definitely be able to go ahead and actually fight this fella with a little bit of a melee. Uh, because he only has, what, like 300 health. As long as I don't get, like, electrocuted or anything, we should be a-okay. So let's just go ahead and summon this fella. Try not to get electrocuted. And hello, Robonic. Eat saw blade, baby. He does do, like, a decent chunk of damage over here, so you'd have to be slightly careful of that, because, I mean, I'm, I'm not wearing, like, the best armor either at the moment, and I am missing pantalones, but still, he is capable of doing some decent damage. Whenever we walk up to him here, he's not actually dead. He, uh, woo! Uh, gets verified. Or, not verified. What the heck? He gets revived, which is not something we want. Woo! 
and he can stun me, which is also not good. Nah! There you go, so she continue hitting him a little bit. Oh, no. That's not good. Dude, he, these freaking stuns that he hit. That, no, English is hard. These stuns that he keeps hitting us with is absolutely obnoxious. We gotta try and do our best to stay away from them, actually, and there you go. It looks like he... Oh, what is going on? There's a lot of electricity. We gotta go ahead and hit these things as soon as possible to deactivate the electricity. No! No electricity for you! You do not get the Christmas present of electricity. Let's go and deactivate this one. And beautiful. That is actually how he regenerates some of his health, and we are not gonna be letting him regenerate today. We are instead gonna be slicing him in half. And ho, 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 your Christmas present is a fresh helping of death, Mr. Mecha Santa Claus. And ooh, we love to see the fragments of titanium armor soup because we can literally recycle and scrap these things with a chance of getting titanium back. And the fact that we can get that from a relatively easy Christmas boss is pretty awesome. He also give us coal. However, I think I definitely deserve to be on the nice list after I survived a vicious attack by a robotic Santa Claus. He was honestly not being very nice. This boss still does not appear to be unveiled. I imagine that will kind of come to fruition and open on up during a future quest line or whatchamacallit that we do get uh, from the bar. So without further ado, let's start making our way back to the bar and see where this quest line does take us, ladies and gentlemen. You know where? It should also take you at some point, actually, specifically at one point in time, every single week, where you should be heading to, where you should be taken to. It's a little thing at the very tippity top of the description. So it's like TV slash Star Slide, where we are live every single Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern time, live stream and playing some Last Day on Earth over on Twitch. If you don't know what time that this stream starts in your own local time zone, Twitch TV slash Star Slide schedule, we'll be able to go ahead and help you out. That will let you know what time that the stream starts uh, locally, because time zones can definitely be on the confusing side of things. So I'll pop on over to that. There's also going to be a link in the description and in the pin comment that y'all can visit and we are always live at that time same time same place have an absolutely fan freaking fantastic time we're playing last down earth we've got the live chat rolling we've got the face cam too making it such a different experience of the last down earth variety that y'all can literally interact with live as things are going on and what is going on over here what are you looking at yeah what's going on are you guys about to tussle or something uh come over here i'll come to you you guys what you, you guys are pretty close to each other already i'm gonna punch you in the face whoa aggressive Anything else? Are you, are you talking to me? I think he's talking to you. If he's talking to Lex, he's about to die. I can tell you that. Oh, look at that. They're tussling. Is anyone going to break this up? Or are they just going to kind of keep, keep, keep fighting? Is this like a budget MMA match? You know, do we get a free UFC fight card here? You're a good fighter. I guess so. They're showing respect to each other. <laughs> uh, is, is that all y'all got? Cheers to that. And all right, I think they're going to go away and uh, drink to that. Well... That was an interesting interaction. <laughs> all right, let's go over here to the board though. Claim our reward for that clue. Give me all of that. And the trail case is completed. That unfortunately is all that we know about for week one. However, we claim all these rewards. Week two and the second case begins, ladies and gentlemen. Robbing Nick Sandy is an insane idea. Everyone knows Nick is heavily armed. Who would have the guns to do it? Well, that's something this clue is going to lead us to. The distress signal is coming from Nick Santy's sleigh. According to the coordinates, it's somewhere nearby. Anything could have caused the catastrophe, but my gut is telling me to get ready for a fight. Well, 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 get ready. I will. And also, can we just appreciate now that we have finished that first week? Look at how many levels and how many points we just got. We're all the way up to level 27. Like, bada boom, bada bing. Absolutely blazing through this battle pass. And also, we should have blazed through a ton of points over here on the Holly side of things to help us get some better rewards whenever this present delivery uh, does uh, complete, which is also definitely an awesome thing to look forward to. Without further ado, let's pop on over back to the map and try to track down the distress signal and see where this is going. Uh, to lead us. But yeah, definitely want to pop on over there to those streams that we are having. Uh, the, so, well, no, no, English is really hard apparently today. Uh, it is a live stream so y'all can interact with the stream as it is going on live. Y'all can chat with me, chat with everybody watching. And of course, the face cam too, making for such a different experience. And speaking of different experiences and awesome things, another thing that there is in Nick Sandy's distress signal came from here. Well, all right, let's get to investigating. Another incredible thing that is available through it is the fact that Twitch drops, ladies and gentlemen, are back. That is right. You're eyes your ears do not deceive you twitch drops have returned y'all for every hour of watching the stream can actually get free rewards sent directly to your last day on earth inbox literally just for kicking back relaxing and enjoying the stream it's an absolutely incredible feature and it is incredible when it is active over on twitch and definitely something y'all want to capitalize on because either you can sit back relax enjoy the stream multitask play last day on earth while you're watching the stream you know or just gotta even have the stream open in the background and be collecting some rewards all that you gotta do is head on over to this gear icon at the top 
top right hand corner of your last day on earth game click the switch button connect, connect your twitch account to your last day on earth account and bada boom bada bing all you gotta do is be logged into your twitch account as you're watching the stream and you can be claiming rewards you don't need to have last down earth open although you can if you want to be like playing last down earth while you're watching the stream to get double the rewards you know of both of playing the game and getting rewards through playing the game and then getting rewards for watching the stream and all that so definitely some awesomeness and looking forward to seeing y'all folks over there every friday 6 p.m eastern time and hello oh my head it's so much do you think you have anything to drink bro i gotta i gotta get you a drink i gotta find you that they're get, there better be some alcohol somewhere, son, because listen, I got none of that on tap at the moment, unfortunately, all right? The uh, Star Snipe Beer and Tap brew is unfortunately fresh out. Oh my goodness, Infected Deer! Dude, whatever happened to Nick Sandy Slay, I tell you what, the fact that Infected Deer appear to be left in its wake is not an encouraging sign. Let's see what we got over here inside of this chest, though. Big money, no whammy, big money, no whammy, big money, no whammy, give me alcohol. Boom! We got the alcohol. That is exactly what we needed, lads and lassies. Let's go and collect a little bit of that. And I'll get rid of the empty water bottles and collect some of those band-aids. Those definitely could come in handy. And listen, as much as I love this underwear, the pantalones have to go on. No, I'm kidding, man. I can't do that. Psyched you out there. No, we got to stay festive. And also, the pants are a little too blue for my liking. I, I like the red underwear. You know, we are only rocking the green and the blue. Or the green and the red. I guess we got a little bit of blue on the backpack, too. But regardless, Fred, my boy. There you go. Enjoy. Oh, yeah, that brought him right up. What happened? I crashed the sleigh, didn't I? And what about the presents? I was supposed to deliver them. We must find them. Oh, we must find the presents, you say. Well, all right. Are you like my back up here? I'm leading the way. These are your presents, bro. I'm just here to help out. You're not even going to like, okay, well, you know what? I guess it falls on my shoulders. And he's only a little bit of a helper. I love the fact that he's going to be uh, following us around a little bit, though. And hopefully providing us a little bit of support on the firepower side of things. There are a ton of presents. Those appear to be absolutely destroyed, though. Let's go and see that and search that up. You gotta imagine, dude, we're gonna be swarmed by zombies for searching this or something. My hopes are not very high. I have to confess something. I borrowed Nick's sleigh. I'm sorry I can't be repaired. I was gonna return. I really was. Oh, hold up. That's a lot of snowman zombies. All right, and they're dead. If we're gonna be getting swarmed by zombies like that, we're bringing out the big guns, baby. All right, I'm gonna be ready to rock and roll with a little bit of that. Do they drop anything? No, they're not dropping anything. Oh, look, look, look. Why do you attack me? I was gonna sneak up on them. It's not very nice. All right, whatever. Onwards and upwards we go. I think on the mini map, I do see another gear icon over here. So we should be able to continue our investigation. Now, we'll be ready to shock and rain a mother trucker as soon as he runs up on me. Anything else you got to confess here while I'm doing this? Uh, you know, I no longer think that delivering presents on my own is such a good idea. It's so dangerous. Yeah, it is, man. There's a reason Santa Claus needs Rudolph shock and rain to get the job done. Also, you know what? I'm going to let this guy use his pistol durability instead of mine. Because he literally is using a pistol to mow down these zombies. Uh, so honestly... When y'all are doing this for yourselves, I'm just telling you right now, it, it kind of pays off to just kind of chill out and uh, let this person who's riddled with guilt use his pistol to slay all the zombies. Although, if you want to get like a sneak attack or two off, eh, yeah, I mean, that doesn't hurt either. Yay! A little bit of sneak attack, triple damage, never hurt nobody. Well, except the person getting sneak attack, but that's a whole different story. Is this another present or is this just like a random box that I'm looting up? This is actually a box. Well, I will be collecting that stuff. Thank you very kindly. Um, and, uh, yeah, we got the infected deer. My boy, please, if you will do the honors and take down the deer. I was about to call it a beer. No, it's not a beer. A bear? A deer? So, such similar words. A lot of them. All right. Still keeping an eye out on the minimap and seeing where this last one might be. Here we got, like, a little lake. Nothing too crazy. Hello, please kill fast biter. Thank you. Didn't even hit me once. You'll love to see that. Another, f uh, oh, infected deer over here. Please, if you'll do the honors, my friend. And take them out. Thank you, thank you, thank you very kindly. Uh, where the heck could these presents be, man? Wherever this a third lot of presents is, it's got to be tucked away somewhere. And they better be in pristine condition, man, if these presents are destroyed, too. What is that? That looks spooky. That looks like something evil is about to crawl out of it. I'm a little bit spooked. I don't know how this is going to go. Uh, well, I guess we got to go to the southern end of the map because I'm not seeing anything on this end. Oh, however, I think we are on the right trail. I see a relatively big fella here. Yay! Let's hit him with a sneak attack and let our boy do the finishing touches. And voila! The rest of the presents have been recovered, my friends. Will there be anything inside of these? I mean, they look just as wrecked as the rest. So are all the boxes empty? That can't be true. Who took everything? Wild animals? Let's go check that cave. Indeed. Chuck and rain! Yay! Yeah! <laughs> I remember when I said I was going to let him use his pistol? I'm sorry, baby, because shot gun rain. Some state drive. What of this field of pain? Oh, well, this is a cave. I was not expecting to be going into a cave in the middle of this quest line. But ladies and gentlemen, things appear to be getting interesting. Well, well, well. Wish us luck. Let's find out what the heck awaits us. 
inside of here. Oh, well, it's snowy. It feels like I'm on the inside of a glacier, dude. And look at that. We got more zombies. Oh, it's a bear! Baloo, what have they done to you, my boy? No! Please, if you will do the honors, I don't want to have to kill my boy. And also, I don't want to have to use any weapon durability. I'm just going to keep running around keep doing the honors, and I can't be the one to put the finishing blow into either Baloo or a relative of Baloo, my boy. Man, I still miss Baloo like it was yesterday. <laughs> oh, that's a very dead person. And hello, we got presents. Did Baloo and or Baloo's relative take all of these presents? Per snaps, perhaps, or just more empty stuff. It's empty here too. Did the Raiders take everything? They're leaving us all with no Christmas presents? Goodness gracious, yeah. How are there no Christmas presents, dude? Not even the bear had any. Go back to the bar. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to do that because there's Jack Diddley's squad in here except for a person. Could there be some sort of super duper secret loot inside of dead person? Yeah, we got lights and food. It's not the secretest loot, but it's something. We'll take it. Yeah, though, this bear, I mean, and Merry Christmas to the bear, dude. Well, except for the little being dead part. But besides that, I mean, the bears seem to be enjoying this little Christmas opening ceremony. Fortunately, those were not your presents to open, my good sir. And that was rather rude of you to assume that they were. And I imagine you had to maul a few, pe few people along the way, too. Probably also a little bit on the rude side. Mauling people tends to get you on the naughty list. Maybe that bear was on the naughty list the whole time. You know, maybe that's what it was. The sleigh has crashed. The presents are lost. I'm lucky I survived. Let's leave before something else happens. Sounds good. But, uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I feel like mauling somebody would definitely get you on the naughty list. But maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. You know, hot take, hot take. Uh, just gotta really quickly check out the rest of the map, though, and see if maybe there's anything else hidden out in a boot around these parts. But unfortunately, it does not appear like anything else that really is awaiting us. There are, like, a few of these chests that we popped open. This guy's still following us, so I guess he could, like, you know, keep on mowing people down if we wanted to. But probably as soon as we leave... He is going to be gone, but yeah, yeah, wow, wow. We are, look at that. All these destroyed presents, man. That is not a beautiful sight to behold. I mean, hey, hopefully though, we can save Nick Sandy and he'll be able to bring the presents back to everybody. Somehow, I don't know, he's Nick Sandy. I don't know what superpowers Nick Sandy has, but if he was able to build that many presents and deliver them or attempt to deliver them in one night, I'd trust in Nick Sandy to find a way out of this. However, First things first, we gotta find actual next Sandy. <laughs> Alrighty though, on to the next leg of this quest. Let's see where it takes us. Let's claim the clue and see where we must go. Who could have thought that Nick's helper would dare to steal the sleigh and deliver the presents on his own? He's lucky the Raiders only took the presents and not his life, but how did they track him down? The Raider attacks are, or no, the Raider attackers couldn't have gone far. They probably set up camp somewhere in the vicinity. We should go there and find why they're looking for Nick Sandy, but we need to be stealthy about it. Well, lucky for you, stealthy's my middle name. Just kidding, I don't have a middle name, and if I did, it definitely wouldn't be Stealthy. And if you've been watching my videos for any amount of time, you would know. Star and Stealthy, they might start with the same letter, but they could not be more far apart. So, you know what, even though they claim we should be Stealthy, I'm gonna be honest with you, it's probably, probably gonna be guns a blazing, to be completely honest here. The Raiders that attacked Fred at set up camp over here. Well, 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 Raiders. Ho, ho, ho. It's not very nice of you. To, to do that, to attack Nick Sandy. I mean, listen, there's a lot, let's see, you're Raiders. I get it, you gotta attack somebody. But how could you attack Nick Sandy and his sleigh? Even if Nick Sandy wasn't technically there and it was only one of his workers who stole the sleigh still, how dare you? All right, that is how you get on the permanent naughty list, dude. There's no way off the naughty list after you do that. And why do these Raiders live in a swamp? I am kind of spooked. What in the heck is going on here? So how did it all work out? Where did you get so many presents? Oh, we're eavesdropping, would you look at that? Well, I guess we're gonna find out. It wasn't Nick Sandy in the car, it was some drunk fool. He wrecked his van and passed out, so he took everything. Yeah. Where is that everything hidden by chance? I am perhaps curious. So that's where you got all those presents. Then why is the boss so unhappy? Because they attacked Nick Sandy, maybe? And, uh, a hot take. We won't be paid. The client needed Nick, and we found the wrong guy. We won't give him the presents either. They are ours. Wait, someone sent out a hit on Nick? Yo. What? That is not good. We need to find the leader. Well, all right, are we gonna... All right, listen, ladies and gentlemen. They requested stealthy. I will do everything in my power to be stealthy. And then when that inevitably fails, I will absolutely blast some fools upside the face with my Christmas presents. Sound good? Sound good. I'm glad that we are on the same page. Let's continue being all sneaky deaky like. Hopefully Lexi does not bring some attention towards us. Hold up, I'm gonna go over here. There appears to be someone walking my way. I imagine the leader's gonna be like inside of the house, right? It's gotta be. This person's literally gonna be staring into my soul. Look at that. Luckily though, it appears like the stealth feature is working. 
Because this grass I'm hiding in is definitely keeping us hidden. I'm going to try and get like sneaky deaky around all these folks over here. Hello, hello, governor. I don't know if I'm going to be able to open this. I feel like, uh, oh no, I meant he didn't hear the door open. Let's go. I am stealthiest man alive. Great success. Is anybody in here? Oh, die. Well, as you can tell, my scar is silenced. Uh, nobody heard a thing. Very silenced, very silent. Um, if I open this, will he no- Oh, he didn't notice me either. He noticed me! Lexi! Ah! There you go. Again, silenced scar. They will never hear it coming. What is inside of the kitchen? Ah, more lights! Very nice, very nice. Uh, I guess I'll take some more of those band-aids and go back to being stealthy and all that, because I'm stealthiest man alive. Yes, that is me. Uh, and continue our search for the leader, wherever the heck this fellow might be. Gotta imagine he'll be- I, I mean, I, oh, there's a dead guy. Oh, oh, that's not a dead guy. That's a dead zombie. And hello. I don't care if it wasn't Nick Sandy. The job was completed. Rinch will pay us. Find him. Who the heck is Rinch? Sounds like the Grinch. Not the G. You can split the presents. Those are your Christmas gifts. Ah, they're not going to be gifts for long, I tell you. You're, you're in for a nasty surprise, my friend. <laughs> All right, now, if you'll excuse me. Uh, I'm going to really quickly uh, fulfill my duty as a wild star snipe. I, uh, I am just gonna go in. Shoot the gas cylinder! Okay, well, I thought it would explode on all of them. I was horrifically mistaken. Die! Beautiful. Didn't go according to plan, but they died. So, didn't go not according to plan. It was, uh, it went according to the backup plan. All is well, all is swell. We are great, we are grand, we are mother freaking golden, baby. Nothing to worry about here. Nope, nothing. Never nothing to worry about. Uh, we still got some zombies here, though. I don't... Uh, they appear like they're gonna be locked up. I don't know why they're locking up zombies. Kind of weird. We got this person over here who's an... Uh, uh, oh, English is really hard. Who is inevitably gonna notice me. Woo! And we are going to murder him with the power of Christmas. There you go. Chat on a few juicy steaks. And there is still one more box over here that I would definitely like to pop on open. So, uh, let me just, uh... Die! Take him out with some sneak attacks from the scar. Oh, we got a few bikes and stuff. Oh, Raider! I was not expecting the Raider to sneak up on me. How the turns have tabled. Let's go and see what's over here in the back of the truck. Hopefully something nice. Yeah? Yeah? Oh, actually, yeah. Uh -huh. I really like what I'm seeing up in here. I mean, it's only like, what, 40% of a pistol, but I will still take that. And also, uh, ho, ho, ho. Happy holidays. Uh, chug on a little bit of that. And let's see what's inside of the bikes too. Maybe like a little, little bit of gas or something might be able to come our way. Or a little bit of food. Although I guess if we had some empty water bottles, we could actually steal and siphon the gas out of these. But I don't feel like going through that much trouble at the moment. I am too busy and too preoccupied with freaking Nick Sani and trying to track this down. But definitely something to keep an eye out on. And beautiful, a little bit more death via scar. We are not leaving any survivors, baby. No, no, no. Not today. Alrighty, now let's get the heck out of here and uh, see where this may or may not lead us to. Rudolph, my boy, I will find your Nick Santee. Don't you worry. We will get to the bottom of this mystery. Yeah, though, holy guacamole. Whatever that leader was talking about with like someone sending out a hit on Nick, that is kind of crazy, man. Let's go and claim that clue. And no, the finale of case two evades us. The next clue is not yet available. I suppose that is something that we're gonna have to wait to get some closure on, which is definitely a bit of a heartbreak, but things are definitely getting interesting. The Raiders are tracking down Nick Santee on Gregory Orinch's request. I saw him here on the first day. He was drunk and acting inappropriately. We'll have no problem finding his address. So next up, we are gonna be hunting that lad down. And then, uh, I mean, uh, Hopefully, continuing our quest to try and save Christmas. And also, yo, look at all those levels we continue to collect. And yo, we got our hands on our new backpack today, too. We might go ahead and pop on back home on the Lickety Split to try out the new backpack. And also, our new festive arc as well, which I, or arch, not arc, bleh, which I actually have the perfect place to go ahead and, uh, or the perfect place back at base to go ahead and place. And also, we still gotta get our hands on our extremely rare thing over here. What are our, like, tasks over here? Any, like, decent ones? Cut down some trees, kill some wolves. Yeah, we could do those. But another thing that I want to do, which should actually get us some holly, is see the strange factory. And I want to specifically see, hold up, uh, what you recall? First off, this tree dump off a bunch of stuff into there. Also gonna need some glue and all that. That's a whole different story. Uh, what you recall? Specifically, I want to see, now that we actually managed to get like the finger or whatever from the factory, will we now be able to get 
fingers from auto clearing the factory as well. Because we got a first finger from there officially confirmed. So will we now be able to get them just from auto clearing the place? Yes? No? Maybe? Yes! We are going to be able to do that. So we're going to repeat this just a few times, ladies and gentlemen, to get our hands on. I believe it was what, like, uh, how much do we need of them? Like six or something. So let's do this like one more time just for good measure. I do believe that should be enough to let us uh, as do one more for good measure. Because every time that we do auto clear this as well, burr, 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 we also get a hundred of the holly, which then means we have now maxed out and have an extremely valuable present on the way. We all do not need to wait five and a half hours. We'll go ahead and clear this out uh, on the liquidity split for you ladies and gentlemen, because, uh, whatchamacallit, we also are going to be getting our hands on this upgraded Christmas tree, which will then allow us to pick two presents and two prizes out of the delivery, which is really awesome. And listen, because I want to show that off absolutely as soon as possible, I do not mind dropping a few dollar reduce, a few coins here and there for the sake of showing off as much as possible. All right, always willing to risk some dollar reduce, risk it for the biscuit, and do some awesomeness for you, ladies and gentlemen. And I actually, or what you call it, show off absolutely as much as possible, as soon as possible. And uh, I do have to grab a few fingers and glue. And I have grabbed both of those things. Let's fill it up. Let's uh, finalize it. And my share in the supplies increased. And so begins the next level of decorations. And I imagine we're not going to be able to get the Christmas ears until the third level of this factory is unlocked, but should unlock with the third week, which should unlock with the third case that we do begin in this ultimate Nick Santy mystery that we are trying to unfold. So hopefully within a few days time, there will be even more rewards coming our way. But without further ado, let's show off the rewards that currently are available to us with the present Skipperoni, that thing, confirm it and pop that puppy open. Oh, and we've got some pretty good goods, ladies and gentlemen. Definitely want to take the military notebooks. Those are always nice. And honestly, I mean, uh, I'll, I'll, I will take some explosive materials too. Honestly, everything here is kind of decent. There are obviously better things like the freaking, uh, what you call military card that we could have gotten. But unfortunately, we did not have the fortune of grabbing it, such as the luck of the draw sometimes. But hopefully we can find some more of those because literally that is like something that I'm so excited for about this like whole supply delivery thing is the fact that we can literally get purple cards from it. Because li listen, purple cards are the holy grail of prizes all right don't get me wrong i'd still prefer 10 blue cards to one purple card which is why you'll never see me trade up 10 blue cards for a purple you know unless i specifically want to go hunting for like a purple card or specifically want to show off a purple unboxing because you just get way more bang for your buck that way but if i can directly get a purple card without having to trade up via this present system that is actually incredible you know, because uh, purple cards still continue to be pretty much like the only way you can get your hands on extremely rare weapon blueprints for guns. And uh, I've, I mean, listen, everyone out there wants some extremely rare blueprints, specifically the active skill mod ones. So the fact that this holiday season is happening with this kind of method to acquire them is seriously out of this world and i'm just such a big fan of it now, all right we got this decoration to put on but first things first we also got a brand spanking new backpack to toss on in the form of the hiking backpack which honestly i don't know if it really like i guess it kind of fits this outfit not really like the best fit in the world but for example if i put on like you know our fireman's outfit how, how does it fit with this uh potentially a little bit better i don't know just the color scheme i guess it depends you know what you're looking for it might maybe it'll look like nice with the aviator there's all sorts of combinations and combos that we could put together but for now i'm sticking in the christmas spirit and backpack wise i'll just keep rocking this year for the little bit of the end because we we literally just got this backpack via the season pass and also why don't we go ahead and put down our festive arch because you know where i want this i want this none other than at the entrance to our wonderful and beautiful little garden right over here i definitely gotta like plant some bushes or something like right to the side of it i think that would look like really cool but nothing like getting a little entrance way to our lovable and beautiful little garden maybe like i don't know put like some decorations here like to the sides maybe like that like i don't know like a slight little reorganization so then this is technically like the entrance way you can't really walk around it i mean maybe yeah you can still like technically walk around it there so it's not like the really it's not the it's not foolproof but still you get the point you're supposed to walk into our little courtyard here via this gateway and look at this beautiful serenity 
that you are given. I definitely got to get some bushes or something down in here. That would look dope. But with that said, with that done, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that is going to go ahead and start pretty nice to this episode of the Last Day on Earth again. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and of course, Happy New Year to everybody uh, coming on up. Hopefully, this case will continue to unfold very quickly and we can see how things do end up and continue checking out what this update has to offer, what the rest of these quest lines have, and just continue the seasonal new update shenanigans. That's going to start wrapping it up for me for now. Thank you guys for holding for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.